For all of you who grew up loving the thrill of a roller coaster ride or maybe had your first kiss on a Ferris wheel, this one's for you. Amusement parks destroyed in some of the legendary towns along the Jersey Shore. Places with familiar names like Atlantic City, but also Asbury Park and Seaside Heights. Can the happiness on the boardwalk happen again? Here's Sharon Alfonsi. Tonight I'm gonna take that ride. For generations, it was the place where time stood still. To the Jersey the Jersey Boardwalk, immortalized by Bruce Springsteen, where summer nights were almost as sweet as the cotton candy. And seemed to last almost as long as memory itself. But this week, the iconic pier at Seaside Heights became iconic in a different way. Hero Police Chief Thomas Boyd helped save 36 here. people the night Sandy the swept sand. ashore. But even he was silenced by what the morning revealed. This is like a, like a miniature Chernobyl, you know, where everything's stopped dead in its tracks. He took 2020 on an exclusive tour, for the first time letting cameras onto the sagging pier itself. Boyd was born and raised here in Seaside Heights. His first job, putting umbrellas in the sand for visitors. I heard you worked as an umbrella boy. Yeah, yeah. I think the rental was $2 a day, and we lived off tips. Later, he became a lifeguard, Seaside royalty. He is still protecting the beaches of his battered home today, now Seaside's police chief. And the amusement park that once lit up like a jewel on the Jersey Shore is now dark. It's very quiet, very subdued. All over America, people were feeling the loss from New Jersey's maverick governor. We flew uh, to uh, the, the Jersey shore of my youth to the boardwalk at Seaside Heights, and, uh, and it is gone. The pier with the rides where I was, took my kids this August, those rides um, are in the Atlantic Ocean. To Kelly Ripa. And he said the Jersey shore of my youth is cha it's forever changed, and I became so sad because it's the Jersey shore of my youth. On the coast of New Jersey are some and of And the, the memories poured in. That Ferris wheel? I had my first date and uh, my first kiss under that Ferris wheel. I have a lot of great memories from, from being there. And that roller coaster now parked on the ocean floor? When I'm riding down, I scream at the top of my lungs. Did you ever throw up? No. No. Did you ever throw up? Yeah, I did. After you get off, you feel like, I want to do that again. <laughs> now it's twisted metal the Penny Arcade. I remember taking pennies and nickels from my father's dresser to come up here and put them in the machines. The arcade now crumpled like an accordion. How far did these games go back? From the 20s. Yeah, penny, penny, nickel, dime. You don't see too many of those anymore. You never get them replaced because they don't make them. You know, it's just it's part of our history. But don't write it off just yet. Seaside Heights has been down before. In 1955, a fire almost destroyed the boardwalk, viewable here on a seaside historic website. They rebuilt. In 1965, again, fire decimated the boardwalk, and again, it rose from the ashes. That's really what it is. It's a spirit. Until you're here, you, you just don't understand it. You don't know that how it, how it grabs you. Bill Akers is the mayor of Seaside Heights. His children were raised here. One thing about it is long bloodlines. They've got generation after generation after generation have been here. It's in every fiber of their body. This is what we do. This isn't bigger than us. We're bigger than it. We're from New Jersey. We never lose faith. They're going to rebuild it. My children are going to have many more memories to come. But, uh, you know, we're pretty resilient. And uh, we're going to... We're going to come back. And in the end, what will save the timeless Jersey Shore is time. <laughs>